Good morning, students. I hope I'm audible and my screen is visible. Okay, so we'll start. Oh, thank you. So, as you people know, we have already started the final automata, right? I'll just go through once and then we'll start the new exam. So we have seen the definition, finite automata, right? It is the mathematical model of finite state machine that mimics the computer. Okay, it executes a finite set of instructions sequentially according to the instructions given by. Okay, and produces the output. What is the output? It is accepted or rejected. Okay, finite automata is broadly divided into finite automata without output and finite automata with output. In finite automata without output, we have DFA, deterministic finite automata, and non-deterministic finite automata. In finite automata with output, we have more machine and million machine. And we are dealing with deterministic finite automata, or I can say, say finite automata. Okay, finite automata can be considered as DFA. You have to remember this. Okay. If they say finite automata, it is usually deterministic finite automata. The differentiation between DFA and NFA and all will see in uh, next, uh, after few lectures on finite automata. Okay. So, next. Uh, what is the formal definition of finite automata? What, is, what are the tuples? Quickly, students. What are the tuples? In finite automata, we have five tuples. What are those? You can unmute yourself or you can put it in the chat quickly. Formal definition of finite automata. Students. Let me know the formal definition, the tuples that define finite automata. What are those? Step number two, Joham Likte hai, what are those? No one? Why? We have already saw three uh, examples, three to four examples. You should know what is the formal definition of finite automata. Yes, it is Q summation Q0, F and delta. Yes, right. What is Q? Q is finite set of states, right? Summation is finite set of input. Yes, very good, very good. Yes, Devesh, Janvi, Yashasri, who others have given the answer? Jessica. Yes, very good. Yes, Ruchita. Right. What is uh, Q? Q is finite set of uh, states. Summation is finite set of input. Q0. It should be Q0, right? Everyone has written Q. I don't know. Uh, why? Q0 is um, start state right very good yes harsh what is f f is final state and what is delta delta is transition state transition function right uh, students uh, while going through your answers that you have uploaded i just uh, want to clarify a few uh, of the things okay as i said while solving the example you have to follow all these steps because this small example carries complete 10 marks. It carries complete 10 marks. So for that, you have to write all the steps. You have to follow all the steps. First step, you have to write what you are designing. Second step, formal definition of the machine. Any machine you are designing, you have to follow these steps. Where it is not necessary, I'll tell you, okay, that in this example, this is not necessary. But otherwise, whenever you solve example, 
or any design, you are designing any machine, you have to follow these steps. First one, you have to write what you are designing. Second step, the formal definition. And you have to define each tuple, right? This is known as tuples. What are these? These are known as tuples, okay? This Q, summation, delta, Q, zero, F. This is formal definition of finite automata. There is, there is, you have different formal definitions for different, different machines. You have to remember that and you have to write. And after that, you have to define each tuple. What is Q? What is summation? What is F? What is Q0? Okay, this is our step two. What will be our step three? Step three will be state table. Okay, you can call this a state transition function or you can call this a state table. This you should write. This will be your step three. What is step four? Step four is transition diagram. Okay, and uh, most of the examples I saw, uh, transit state table and transition diagram doesn't match. You have written something in uh, state table and you have drawn something in transition diagram. Please check that. Obviously, you are drawing for the same machine, so it should be seen. It should match. One more thing I observed is you did not. Uh, uh, I have told you so many times that you have to uh, represent the start state and the final state in the state table as well as in the transition diagram. This is how you represent, right? Start state and final state. Final state with double circle, start state with a arrow in transition diagram. And in state table, start um, state with the arrow and start for final state okay so all this has to be followed you have to remember all this otherwise you lose marks okay though you know the answer you may get full 10 marks but you are getting five or six marks because of all these small things okay so you have to remember all these little things and finally you have to write one example to show that whatever you have designed is right. Okay. I hope this is clear, students. Okay. Don't make these mistakes in the next examples. I hope this is clear. Okay. So what are the examples that we have solved? We have seen decimal number divisible by 3. Right. We have seen decimal number divisible by 4. Similarly, we have seen binary number divisible by 4 and you have solved binary number divisible by 5. I think we have done till here, right? We'll move on to the next example. Is there any doubt till now? Shall we move on to the next example? Shall we move on to the next example? Okay, thank you. Next example, that is next number system we'll see is ternary number system, okay? The question here is the number, whether the number is divisible by three or not, whether the given ternary number is divisible or uh, divisible by three or not, okay? So we'll see that what is ternary number. First, we'll understand what is ternary number, okay? Uh, as we have seen decimal number, Input for decimal number is 0 to 9, right? And uh, input for binary number is 0 and 1. Similarly, what may be the input for ternary number? Anyone? What may be the input for ternary number? Anyone? Ternary. What may be the input? What may be the input for ternary number? Even though, even if your answer is wrong, doesn't matter. Please try to answer. 0, 1, 2. Harsh says 0, 1, 2. Any others? 0, 1, 2. Who is this? Yash. Yash also says 0, 1, 2. Right? Ternary. See, binary matlab do, 
हो गया जीरो एंड वन टर्न थ्री मतलब थ्री थ्री मतलब जीरो वन टू यस ऋषिकेश तेजस यस वेरी गुड इट इज जीरो वन टू ओके जीरो वन टू यस वेरी गुड ओके ना विल सी हाउ दीज टर्नरी नंबर आर रेप्रेजेंटेड ओके सो फाइन सो हाउ इफ आई वॉन्ट टू रेप्रेजेंट फोर्टीन इन बाइनरी नंबर हाउ आई डू How do we calculate fourteen? जो decimal number है, I want to represent this fourteen in binary number. What we do? What we do to convert a binary number, which is uh, the, uh, convert a decimal to binary? What is the procedure? What is the procedure? Divide by two. Yes, very good. We divide by two, right? Fourteen. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. What I'm doing? This is how we do, right? Remainder is zero. Then two, three. Remainder is one. Then again two. One is two. Remainder is one. So what is fourteen uh, in binary number? We read it in this way, right? It is one, 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 zero. So what we'll do uh, for ternary number? Same way, we'll divide it by three. Yes, Harsh, right. So if I want to represent same fourteen in ternary number, we will divide it by three, right? Three, four, seven, two remainder, right? Three, one, three, and what is? Uh, Fourteen uh, representation in ternary now. What is fourteen representation in ternary, students? Using this, it is one one two. I hope you got this, right? I hope you got this. You understood ternary number, right? Okay. Now, if I want to convert, now if I want to convert one 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 zero, this is my binary number, right? and i want to convert this to decimal number how do we convert how do we convert a given binary number to decimal number we'll give the power right 0 right 1 2 3 right 1 into 2 cube plus One into two square plus one into two raised to one plus zero into two raised to zero. That is fourteen, right? So how to convert ternary number now to decimal number? I have one, one, two as my ternary number. How to convert this ternary number to decimal number? How we'll do this? How to convert this one one two ternary number to decimal number? Three raised to power. Yes, right. Very good. It is three raised to power. So what I'll get here? This is uh, place uh, value zero. One and two, right? So what we'll have three square into one plus three raised to one into one, right? I'm not writing that one because it is the same thing. But if you are getting confused, I'll write it. Plus three raised to zero 
into 2. I should get 14. Let's see. 3 square into 1 is 9. 3 raised to 1 is 3 into 1 is 3. And 3 raised to 0 into 2. That is 1 into 2 is 2. So 3 plus, uh, 9 plus 3 is 12. 12 plus 2 is 14. Right? I hope you understood ternary number. I hope you understood ternary number, students. Any doubt in ternary number? Okay, this is just to make you understand what is ternary number. That's all. This is not in your solution. Did you get what is ternary number? Everyone? Okay, fine. So now we'll get back to our finite automata, designing finite automata. Okay. So I'll give you a easy way to remember ternary number because we require uh, while solving the example and also while uh, writing the state table. See here, what we can do is, what we can do is, we know this is three raised to zero at the first place. Okay, then three raised to, three raised to one at the second place, three square, at the third place, right? Okay. How to remember? Okay, I'll write decimal number here. Sorry. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on. Okay. Okay. What you have to write is this is always repeating one three raised to zero is one three raised to zero is one so this and uh, uh, what are the digits in ternary number it is zero one two so zero one two will be repeating always once zero one two zero one two zero one two and so on what is three raised to one it is three so it, the digits will repeat three times. Zero, 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 one, 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 two, 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 and so on. Again, zero, 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 one, 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 two, two, two. I hope you are getting this. Three square is nine. So zero will be repeated nine times here. Three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9. After that, 1 starts and will continue 9 times. See, so what is 0 representation of uh, ternary number? 0, 0, 0. 1, how it is represented? 0, 0, 1. 2, 0, 0, 2. How 3 is represented? It is 0, 1, 0. How 4 is represented? It is 0, 1, 1. 5, 0, 1, 2. 6, 0, 2, 0, 7, 0, 2, 1, 8, 0, 2, 2, 9, 1, 0, 0, and so on. I hope you got this. Okay. This is just for you people to remember the ternary equivalent of the binary number, sorry, decimal number. Okay. Fine. So coming to our example, what is the question? Design finite automata. Uh, to show or uh, to accept the ternary number divisible by 3. Since it is divisible by 3, what will be our Q? Students, what will be our Q? What will be Q? The question is, Design uh, finite automata to accept the ternary number divisible by 3. So it is remainder 0, 1, 2. Yes. So I'll write here Q0, Q1, and Q2. Okay. Q0 represents 
remainder 0, Q1 represents remainder 1 and Q2 represents remainder 2. You have to write that, okay? I am not writing it here, but you have to write that. What Q0, Q1 and Q2 represents, which will be our start state. Quickly, students, start state. Start state, Q0, which will be our final state. Final state, Q0. Final state is also Q0 because we want that the remainder is 0. We know that when the remainder is 0, the number is divisible and the uh, number should be accepted. Right? Okay. Now we'll directly move on to state table. Input, we know it is 0, 1, 2. Okay, then Q0, states are Q0, Q1, Q2. Okay, mark the start state, mark the final state. Start, Q0 on 0, 0, 0. 0, 0 means 0. 0 when divided by 3. What is the answer? What should I write here? Quickly help me out. What should I write here? Students, what should I write here? Q, 0. Yes, they just write. Okay, 0, 1. 0, 1 is decimal 1. Right? So, 0, 1 is decimal 1 divided by 3 q1 yes parish yes ruchita right okay so what should i write here then 0 2 0 2 it is q2 very good coming to this 1 0 what is 1 0 what is 1 0 students what do you mean by 1 0 ye 1 hai right and this is 0, 1, 0. What do you mean by 1, 0? It is 3. Yes, very good. 1, 0 is 3. 3 when divided by 3. Remainder is 0. So what should I write here? Atabish, it is Q0, right? Okay. 1, 0 is 3. Yeah, fine. No, no problem. 1, 1. What is 1, 1? It is, what is 1, 1? What is 1, 1? It is 4. Yes, I am. It is 4. So, what we should write here? We should write Q1. Yes, Tejas, Preeti. Yes, I am. Right. Harsh. Very good. Okay. What is 1, 2? 1, 2. 1, 2 is 5. So, what we should write here? It is 5. So, it is Q2. Very good. Very good. Yes, wonderful. So coming to this, 2, 0, 2, 0, right? 2, 0 is not 20, right? What is 2, 0? 2, 0 is 6. Very good. Yes, you are understanding it. Very good. 20, sorry, 2, 0 is 6. 6 when divided by 3, it is Q, 0. Yes, very good. 2, 1. 2, 1. Q, 1. It is 7 and it is Q, 1. Very good. What is uh, 2, 2? It is 8. So, what should I write here? It is Q2. Any doubt, students? Any one of you? Any doubt? Kisi ko bhi doubt hai? Kuch bhi? Please feel free to understand. Mm, ask. Okay? Fine. So, is isi ka aapko transition diagram draw karna hai? And you have to solve example. Any doubt in this example? I, do you want me to solve the transition diagram and example? You people will do it, right? Okay. So, shall we move on to the next example then? Shall we move on to the next example? Yes. Okay. Very good. Okay. So, we have done with ternary number. Okay. I will give you uh, as a homework. Uh, the other example related to this and we'll move on to the next type of examples okay so next number system we have seen decimal number system we have seen 
binary number system we have seen ternary number system the last number system that is in your syllabus is unary number system okay what is this unary number system see decimal 0 to 9 we have 10 decimal 10 right binary we have two two digits that is 0 and 1 ternary we have three ternary three zero one two unary unit right so we have only one single symbol to represent the number i hope you are getting me okay single unary means one right unit you have single digit to represent a number for example i can take any symbol i can take zero to represent a number i can take one to represent a number i can take a to rep represent a number okay i i'll take a this is one this is two this is three so if i want to represent three decimal number three in unary number the whatever symbol you take you have to repeat it that many number of time so i can say that length of uh, the number represents the decimal number. I have taken A to represent. For example, if I want to represent 7. So what I'll be writing? I'll be writing A 7 times. Five, six, and 7. I hope you are, you are getting me. Okay. This is known as unary number system. Okay. So, next example that we'll be solving is design finite automata to accept a unary number which is divisible by 3. Unary number divisible by 3. So, again, what will be my Q, weekly students? What will be my Q? Help me out. Unary number divisible by 3. Yes, remainder 0, 1, 2. Very good. So, Q0, I'll take Q0, Q1 and Q2. Students, please don't forget to explain what is Q0, Q1, Q2. You have to define in your question. What is Q0, Q1, Q2? That is Q0, remainder 0, Q1, remainder 1, Q2, remainder 2. Okay, you have to write that because uh, the evaluator should know that you have understood what is Q0, Q1, Q2, what that Q0, Q1, Q2 represent. Okay, you may from, you may take Q1, Q2, Q3, Q1 for 0 remainder, Q2 for 1 remainder, Q3 for uh, 2 remainder, right? So, the evaluator should understand what exactly you have defined, which state uh, you, you have taken to define what condition that should be written in Q. Okay, then what is summation? What is the input? Students, what is the input according to my uh, unary number? It is uh, Yashasri, I have taken A. Okay. Uh, then uh, what uh, else we should write? Q0. My start state is Q0, right? My final state is Q0, yes. Sorry. My final state is Q0. Students, please bear with my uh, writing. Digital writing is too bad. Okay. So, input is A. Fine. States are Q0, Q1, and Q2. Okay. Please, students, mark the start state and the final state. Don't forget to mark the start state and the final state. Okay. Now, Q0 on A. Where it goes? Q0 on A. Q0 on A. It is? It is divisible by 3. Shitaj, it is finite automata. Uh, 
accepting uh, unary number divisible by 3. Okay, Q0 on A means you have single A, single A, uh, Tejas, it is not Q0, but it, there is no A's and you got a A, matlab single A, single A, matlab it is 1, right? 1 is represented as A, 2 is represented as double A, right? 3 as triple A, then 4 as 4 A's and so on. Okay, so Q0 on A is single A, single A means Q1. Okay, now Q1 on A. Q1 on A. What do you mean by Q1 on A? Q1 means one remainder. One remainder means I already have A. Yes, very good. Yes, Preeti, Rushikesh, Ayan, very good. So I have single A. And I'm reading one more A. I have two A's here. Right? 2A is Q2. 2A is 2A. 2A. 2A means 2. 2 when divided by 3. Remainder is 2. That is Q2. So go to Q2. What do you mean by Q2? What do you mean by Q2? Q2 means we already have 2A. Yes. Very good. We already have 2A and we have a single A here. We have 3As. 3A matlab 3. 3 when divided by 3, we have 0 remainder. So it goes to Q0. Yes. I hope you understood your Nari number and finite automata to design this. I hope this is clear, students. Any doubt in number system problems? We have seen decimal number. We have seen binary number, we have seen ternary number, and we have seen unary number. Okay, in your final exam, they may ask you any one of this. I'm sorry, it is not finite state machine, it is finite automata here. Okay. I'll just uh, make the changes later on. Okay, the question may be, the question may be, see here, finite automata, unary number divisible by 3, unary number divisible by 4, unary number divisible by 5. Okay, same way, binary number divisible by 3, 4, 5. Ternary number by 3, 4, 5. It is 3, 4, 5. Okay, same way, decimal number by 3, 4, 5. You should know all this. Okay, finite automata, design finite automata for unary number 3, 4, 5, binary number 3, 4, 5, ternary number 3, 4, 5 or it may be decimal number 3, 4, 5. Okay, and again I repeat, you have to follow all the steps. Okay, even if they give you 6, 7, 8, 9, what, what uh, a big deal in that, right? You can do it. You have to just change the state, number of states, depending on the given divisibility number. I hope this number problems are clear. The number systems are clear. What is decimal number? What is binary number? What is ternary number? And what is unary number? Any doubt in any of the number system or any uh, um, doubt in solving these problems? Any one of you, kisi ko bhi agar kisi, kuch bhi doubt hai, let me know. Students, if you have any doubt, let me know. Kisi ko bhi doubt hai? Because we are ending with the uh, number system now. We are going for string input. So before going to string input, I just want to make sure that you people have no doubt in number system problem. Okay, so you can solve any of this, right? You can solve any of this. In unary, we should take only single A. Yes, they just right. You can take any symbol. I have taken A. 
you can take zero you can take one any one single symbol has to be taken is this is this okay tejas okay any other any other let me know i'll give you just to uh, one minute let me know if you have any doubt any doubt students yes i am just i'm showing you okay see this step 1 you have to write what you are designing step 2 is formal definition you have to give the formal definition of the machine okay and then explain what are the formal definition that is what are the tuples you have to define the tuples according to the given example that is your step 2 step 3 is your state table you have to write the state table step 3 then step 4 is transition diagram okay and again i am repeating your state table and transition diagram should match okay most of you they are different in the previous example okay and last step 5 is example you have to verify your machine that you have designed using example you have to give two examples one to show it is accepted one to show it is rejected ayan is that okay fine shall we move on then i hope there is no doubt asked by you people so we'll move on okay fine so we'll move to our next example okay yes okay. uh students please pay attention from here that we are here the input is string input is string not numbers okay fine so our first example here is design finite automata to accept the string if it has odd number of a's and even number of b's on input a comma b i'll I'm reading it again design finite automata to accept the string if it has odd number of a's yeah, and yeah. even number of b's on input a and b okay so what exactly they require we'll just check that first okay we'll understand the question first okay so i'll give a random input okay what they say the input consists of a and b whatever input is given the string the string the input string consists of input a comma b so my symbols are only a and b that is the input whatever i give the input whatever i give some random input i am giving okay so the input whatever i gave should consist of only a's and b's okay so now what is the next what they say it should be accepted only if it has odd number of a's and even number of b's so odd number of a's and even number of b's so we'll just check 1 2 3 4 i have 4 even I'm sorry, four A's and one, two, three. I have three B's. So what they say is odd number of A's and even number of B's. But what we have here in this example, we have even number of A's and odd number of B's. So this string, this string is rejected. Okay. now i'll give another random example okay 
Okay, so here if you see, I have three A's, so odd number of A's. One, two, three, four. Four B's, so it is even number of B's. So odd number of A's and even number of B's. So this is accepted. This is accepted. Okay, did you understand the question what they're asking? Okay, the string should consist of A's and B's. The string should consist of A's and B's. Okay, and the string is accepted only if number of A's are odd and number of B's are even. Okay, this is what is asked in the question. Now, we have to design, right? So, to design, what are the tuples that we require? We require Q, we require summation, we require Q0, we require F. Okay, we'll see one by one. Okay, what is uh, input uh, symbols? What are the input symbols, students? What is our summation now? What the string should consist of? It should consist of only A's and B's, right? Yes, very good. Saurav, Tejas, Preeti, yes. Shetej, uh, who is this? Harish, yes, very good. It is A, B. My input should consist of only A's and B's. Very good. Now coming to our states. What should be our state? Since it is a string, we would like to take QS as the start state. Rather than taking uh, something else, we'll take QS as the start state. I think you remember why we have not taken QS in our previous example. Do you remember, students, why we have not taken QS as the start state in our previous example? Even if you take start state in our previous example, there is no harm. Okay? But there will be ambiguity. There will, that is, there will be repetitions. So, we haven't taken because 0 at the left-hand side. Yes, same as Q0. Yes, very good, Ishani. So 0 at the left-hand side in number system has no value. So, what did we do? We have taken Q0. Because Q0 we represent 0, we have taken Q0 from start. But here is a string. Hai, right? So, string, null string is different than 0. So, we should have start state in strings. Okay, students? I hope you are getting me. Okay? Fine? Now. What is the required example that uh, we have to design the machine? We require odd, we require odd A and even B. This is what we require. Okay, I'll write here A and I'll write here B. Okay. Okay. What I require is this. What I require is odd A, even B. So what are the possibilities that we may get? What are the possibilities that we may get? We require odd A's and even B's. What are the other possibilities that we may encounter here with respect to number of A's and B's? Both odd, both even, right? So I may get odd, odd number of A's. I, I require odd number of A's and even number of B's. But I may get odd number of A's and odd number of B's. Yes. Very good. I may get even number of A's and even number of B's. Right? I may get even number of A's. Sorry, students. Please bear with me. So, I have and even number of A's and odd number of B's. Right? These are the other possibilities that may occur in the example. Right? So, what we'll do? 
these are the other uh, uh, possibilities right so we'll take this as our state okay so i'll write here q0 i'll take q0 as odd odd you can take any there is no uh, that um, uh, hard and fast rule that you have to take uh, this first this second this third and this fourth no you can take this first second third fourth this one two three four, anything q0 yahi hona chahiye aisa kuch nahi hai okay so i am taking odd a odd b shit unable to write <clears throat> take text okay q0 Odd A, odd B. So one, I'll take odd A, even B. Just give me two minutes. I'll make it uh, large. Q two, I'll take Q two, I'll take even A, even B. and then q3 i'll take even a and or b students is there any doubt in uh, why we have taken this as our q this is our q okay this is our q any doubt students why we have taken this as our state any doubt in this let me know if you have any doubt is this okay fine because the question is odd number of is and even number of bs then we saw that these are the other possibilities so we have taken that as our states okay so now coming to the next step this is our q yes ayan what we have done the question was what is the question the string is accepted only if uh, it has odd number of bs and even number of bs right so what we did we saw what are the other possibilities to get odd a and even b what are the other possibilities the other possibilities are odd a odd b even a even b and even a and odd b so this we considered as our states okay i hope you got this okay so now what is our final state what is our final state what is required by uh, according to the question odd a and even b odd a and even b we have defined in q1 yes preeti very good our final state is q1 yes rushikesh yes ruchita very good and what is our start state students what we have taken i'm sorry yahan pe maine qs likhna bhul gayi na yes i'm sorry for that qs initial state or start state you can write it as anything okay you can define it as initial state or you can define it as start state okay so now q our q0 is qs because we have taken as qs okay now coming to our state table yes tejas yes very good whatever you have taken according to that you have to decide which is your star, final state if you write in q2 as odd a and even b then that will be your final state in this in this in my example what i have taken odd a even b as q1 so q1 is my final state 
okay if i write this odd a even b in q3 then q3 will be my final state okay you have to check what is given in the question and which is your declaration accordingly you have to take that as your final state okay fine my input is a b my states are q s q 0 q 1 q 2 q 3 okay uh, mark the start state mark the final state okay now start state matlab we have nothing we have just started and i'm reading a, a. <coughs> qs matlab 0 a and 0 b right 0 I have, this is number of a's and this is number of b's okay qs matlab i have zero number of a's and zero number of b's i hope you are getting me okay what i'm saying qs means there are no string so it is zero number of a's and zero number of b's okay what i'm reading here i'm reading a single a so i'll add one to this right so now i'm reading one a and zero b and i think you people know that 0 a 0 b is considered as even a and even b okay 0 a and 0 b is considered as even a and even b okay so now what it is now what it is it is 1 a and 0 b matlab what it is this has become odd right yes yes you are right this has become odd and this is even as it is right this is odd and this is even right so odd a and even b odd a and even b is in q1 yes ayan is right yes very good uchita i hope you are getting me students okay it is q1 okay so now this is start state we have nothing and we read a one well, sorry we read one b we read one b so zero a and 1b 0a and 1b what it is this is even and this is odd this is even and this is odd and it is q3 so go to q3 okay i hope okay what is q0 q0 is odd odd i'll write here uh, the conventions that we have taken okay q0 is odd odd uh, Q0 is odd even. Okay, I'll take this uh, the left hand side as uh, A and right hand side as even. Okay, this is A, this is B. This is A, this is B. Number of A's and number of B's. This is E, E. Okay, just to make you people understand easily, I have taken this. I'm sorry, this is E, E, not E. This is E, E. And this is B O. Okay, uh, students, uh, it's twelve ten. We'll uh, finish this and then we'll leave. Okay. Uh, so Q zero means odd A and odd B. Okay. For example, odd A, odd B. I'll take something like that. Three and five. Three A's and five B's. Just a random example. I have three A's and I have five B's. Right? Odd, odd, hai na? Odd A, odd B. So I have three A and five B. Hai. Okay. So I am in Q0 now. Q0 and I am reading 1A. Matlab yaha pe plus 1 ho gaya. Right? Main aur ek A read kar rahi hoon. To yaha pe plus 1 ho gaya. To ye kya ho gaya? 4, 5. To kya ho gaya ye? Even? Odd? Yes. So it goes to Q3. Yes. Very good. Nikunj, right. Ruchita, right. Ushikesh. Right, so it is Q3. 
ओके नाउ टेल मी यहाँ पे क्या होगा मेरे पास ऑड ऑड है और प्लस वन बी हुआ ओ ओ प्लस वन बी तो यहाँ पे क्या होगा ये सिर्फ ये चेंज होगा ना क्योंकि आई एम एडिंग ओनली वन बी सो वॉट वेर इट गोज इट गोज टू क्यू वन यस यस आई होप एवरी वन इज अंडरस्टैंडिंग only few are answering but i hope everyone is understanding the things okay now what i am in q1 right now we have to fill this i am in q1 q1 o e odd as even bs and i am adding one e so it goes to very good it goes to q2 kyunki i am adding one a odd a tha aur maine ek a add kiya ऑड ए हो गया इवन तो ये बी तो वैसा ही रहेगा राइट सो इट इज ई इट गोज टू ई ओके नेक्स्ट ओ ई यहाँ पे क्या आएगा इट इज ओ ओ यस वेरी गुड क्यू टू ऑन ए क्यू टू ऑन ए इट्स क्यू वन क्यू टू ऑन बी Q3. Students, are you understanding? Is there any doubt? If you have any doubt, let me know. I'll stop and I'll repeat it. E O on A and E O on B. It is Q two. Students, any doubt in this? Mm -hmm. okay so this is what we have completed today right so you have to draw the transition uh, diagram yes uh, shushti uh, what do you want me to repeat may i know you want to repeat uh, the state table yes ma'am yeah this is the start state right null right uh, yes, yes please re listen या स्टार्ट स्टेट नल नल मतलब मेरे पास कुछ नहीं है जीरो नंबर ऑफ एज है जीरो नंबर ऑफ बीस है एंड जीरो जीरो इज कंसिडर्ड एज इवन इवन ओके जीरो इज कंसिडर्ड एज इवन इन नंबर सिस्टम तो जीरो ए जीरो बी है मतलब आई हैव इवन नंबर ऑफ एज एंड इवन नंबर ऑफ बीस ओके सो इवन नंबर ऑफ एज एंड इवन नंबर ऑफ बीस एंड आई एम एडिंग वन ए See here, I have zero number of A's and zero number of B's, and I am adding one. So, हो गया मेरा number of A one हो गया और number of B's तो वैसा ही रहेगा because I am reading just one single A, right? So, ये one zero मतलब क्या हो गया? My number of A's are odd and number of B's are odd. Okay? So, number of A's are odd and number of B's are odd. So, odd odd हो गया, right? So, odd odd कहाँ पे है हमारा? it is in q0 so we sorry sorry this becomes odd and this is even i'm sorry i'm sorry, I'm sorry. okay now uh, i have 0 0 that is i have even number of a's and even number of b's okay and and i read a single a here i read a single a here तो प्लस वन हो गया सो दिस बिकम्स ऑड एंड दिस रिमेन्स एज इट इज एज इवन सो वॉट इज माई ऑड इवन गो टू अवर कन्वेंशन वॉट एवर वी हैव रिटर्न डेफिनेशन सो इट इज ऑड इवन ऑड ए एंड इवन बी इज क्यू वन सो गो टू स्टेट क्यू वन ओके सो नंबर ऑफ एज आर इवन नंबर ऑफ बीज आर इवन एंड आई एम रीडिंग जस्ट वन बी यू हैव टू Take this and this. Okay, so this Q S मतलब even number of A's and even number of B's, and I'm reading one B, and I'm reading one B. So even number of A's remains as it is, but even number of B's, since I'm reading one more B, it becomes odd. Even odd, even odd कहाँ पे है? Even A odd B is in Q three. So we go to Q three. Are you getting Shristi Ayan? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Ayan, fine. 
So this is what we have filled it. Okay. Similarly, if I take odd odd, Q zero is odd number of A's and odd number of B's. If I read one A, this odd A becomes even. This remains as it is. So it is E O. E O is Q three. So go to Q three and so on. Okay, students. I hope this example.